Hello everybody, welcome back to another mini review. Today we're going to be taking a very brief look at Shadow of Normoth, a game originally released in September of 2021 in the vein of your Haunted PS1 throwback horror games. And honestly, it's quite a bit of fun of just straight up nostalgic entertainment. lighthouse we're doing with so much fucking shotgun ammo, but I'll take it. As you've probably noticed by now, this game is nothing more than a full-blown nostalgic throwback to your Resident Evils and Silent Hill of the PS1 era, with a healthy sprinkling of Lovecraft just to round things off too. You take control of a chap who wakes up on an island with something spooky afoot, and so you naturally go exploring and eventually stumble across something spooky. And the game basically just follows that through line to the end. It's straightforward and to the point, and at barely an hour's runtime, it hardly overstays its welcome. The atmosphere is downright gorgeous at times, the clunky tank controls and equally clunky combat are about as OG survival horror as it comes, and also elicits the exact same love-hate relationship that it did 30 years ago. The design of the game is, again, just a full-blown PS1 survival horror fest with insidious beasties and the occasional boss fight scattered throughout it. And this short but sweet horror game is completely free. You can pick up Shadow of Normoth over at itch.io, and if you're a fan of the genre, I recommend giving it a go. I'm a shameless sucker for the haunted PS1 stuff, so if you're like me, you might get a kick out of it. That's all I'm going to say, is this game is super short. I'll see you next time.